Hi there, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to get this revive mechanic working for your game. So let's get started. The project that I'm going to use here is one that I created six months ago and it was when I was trying to create a script system or a sort of a note system with scripts that you can reuse. It's a pretty simple game. What I'm going to be showing here is the revive script. Before we're going to go and check the revive script, we need to understand the picture how the revive works. So if I start the game, then I play for a little bit and I extend click, I get a revive screen. I have a countdown. If I don't click on the revive option within that three seconds that I had, then I get the game over screen. If you click on the game over screen, you start the game all over, meaning from the start, so you can play it again. But now if I click on the revive during that time, then I can continue playing from the place where I left off. If I collide again, what I did in my game is actually it just goes directly to the game over because I want to allow the player to use the revive option only once. So you wouldn't be reviving yourself infinitely. So that's the logic that I went with my game. Now the most complicated part about the revive is actually getting the player to continue from where he left off. And it's actually pretty easy to achieve that. The only thing that you have to do is make sure that you don't destroy the player after he dies. So in my case, you can see that the player died, but I still have the plane object. I can activate him back and he just spawns back. But you can see that he still gets destroyed. And that's the other thing that you have to do is you need to make sure to place the player in the safe position or have some invincibility for the player so that the player can get back into the game and not get destroyed right away. For my game, I also have to set the velocity back to form so that the plane continues flying, but that's just depends on your game. So let's go take a look at the revive script. I made mine really simple. So I have the revive UI, so I can control when I want to turn on the revive UI. I have game over UI, and also I have the player game object. To keep track if the player was revived or not, I have another boolean. So if the player gets rewired once, the boolean is going to be set to true and I can use that to block the revive the second time. And the first stage that this revive logic goes to is if you want to revive or not. So this method right here, you want to revive, gets triggered once I hit the enemy. And you can see in here, I check for revived. If revived is true, then I go directly to game over. If revived is false, then I turn on the revived UI set active to true. Now for game over method, it's pretty simple here. All it does is make sure that the revive UI is turned off and turns the game over UI on. And that's pretty much it on the UI control. Now let me show you how I actually trigger this you want to revive. You would probably do it with a script, but what I use here is an if collide script that I created. And this script has event that it fires when you collide something. So I subscribe my you want to revive method to listen to this event. Whenever this event gets fired, then it triggers that method. After that method is triggered, your revive UI gets turned on. What I have for revive UI, let's go check it out. So this is how it looks and I have images countdown. I have three, two, one. Also use one of the scripts to actually have that delay between each image and it also uses the event system. After it gets to one, then I wait for one second and trigger the game over. So that means that you waited out those three seconds and the game over screen shows up. If you click on revive within that time, then I trigger a get a revive. Now that's the logic that I have right here get a revive and in here well first you want to disable that revive UI so that the timer will not continue and show the game over and in here this is the place where you actually would want to trigger the logic for watching the ad or using coins to purchase the extra life after you do that successfully you want to trigger the revive player and for purchasing coins you can do it right here 
but for watch UI you need to subscribe to one of the callbacks for successfully watching a reward ad. This rewire player method will have to be triggered from your rewarded watch script. Now rewire player method is also going to be different for your type of a game. But one thing that you'll probably have also is the rewire equals true. This is where I set the flag that I successfully rewired the player once. And basically this is going to block me from reviving the second time. If you want to revive multiple times, you can use an integer instead of a boolean and check for the integer here. But those options are pretty easy to change. So in my case, how I go about spawning the player back is by setting the Y position to zero. So that makes the plane to be in the middle of the screen, which is the safe zone for me. After I change the position, I set the player back to active and I set my move script to have velocity of four so that the plane will start moving forward again. So that's the logic behind the revive. Let me demonstrate that again. Now I have this project actually on itch.io and I will update it with this revive logic. So if you want to check it out and play around with this project, you are more than welcome to do that. So let's try out the revive again. So if the plane hits something, I get the revive. If I don't do anything, I'm going to get a game over. If I hit again and click revive in time, then my plane gets respawned and I can continue from where I left off. Be sure to click on the like button if you found the video helpful. And if you want to get notified when my next videos are going to be out, click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.